Okay, so I've been getting multiple requests for another fish tank update video. So today we're gonna take care of the fish. These little guys are doing awesome. No problems whatsoever. They're active and they're healthy and they're nice and bright colored. They look great. So these guys are not my question today. And then we've got our snails. Where'd you go? Here you are. We've got Michelle and Sheldon who are also doing just fine. No problems whatsoever. And then we've got this guy that we named Bob and he hangs out in here and doesn't do much. He just bobs around. But my question today is about our plant. Here we go. Our plant back here has a leaf against the wall that is bright yellow and our whole plant all the leaves are covered with like algae and I'm wondering is it turning yellow because the leaves are coated in algae or is there maybe something wrong in the water that's causing the plant to die I think I've figured out for the most part how to keep the fish tank healthy for the fish but I'm having trouble with the plant because I'm not sure what would cause it to turn yellow. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do a fish tank clean out. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the tank like I normally do, do a water change, do all of that stuff that I normally do, put the vitamins in for the plant and the fish. But if you guys have any answers as to why my plant might be turning yellow, please leave those in the comments because I would love to know what would cause my plant to suddenly start to turn yellow. Can you tell me why my plant is turning yellow? Cause... Oh! You don't know why? Dad, mm -hmm. why is the plant turning yellow? I really don't know. Is he getting enough nutrients? Does it need... something? <laughs> Jordan! Fertilizer? You're the brains. Why is my plant turning yellow? Oh, it's got liver problems, of course. <laughs> Why Wait, does it die things? I about? know, because what? it's covered in algae. Hmm, maybe. My house is covered in algae. My <laughs> house is covered in algae. <laughs> you guys are goobers. I had one other theory, and that was that we've got these blinds right above our fish tank, and we had them turned the other way, so some sunlight was coming through. And maybe there was enough sunlight in the water that it either got too warm or, it, I don't know. It's not too warm for the fish, the fish are doing fine, but maybe something about the sunlight caused too much algae to grow in the water, which was not good for the plant. I don't know, that's just a theory. Okay, here we go. Let's take the lid off. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my plant out and I'm gonna wash the leaves off just in case that's what's causing the problem. When we bought the plant, it had a little bit of algae on the leaves and when, she, when the lady at the store pulled it out of the tank, she just washed it with her thumb and I was watching how she did that so that I could do it in the future if I needed to. So today that's what I'm gonna do to see if I can help my plant. So I've still got my plant in the little black basket, the black basket that it came from the store in. And I was told that it would be just fine to leave it in the basket um, and it won't hurt the plant. So that's why it's still in there. But I'm just gonna take the plant over to the water that we took out of the tank. And I'm just gonna run my thumb over the leaves, just like she did in the store, just to kind of clean that algae off because I'm afraid that that might be damaging my plant. Mom, drop it in. See, this is the leaf here that doesn't seem to be doing very well. I don't know why it's dying, but it doesn't appear to be savable at this point because it looks like 
the water has just seeped through it in a lot of places. Mom huh. dropped the whole thing in. Again, I don't know what might be causing that, but I certainly don't want the rest of my plant to get sick because that one leaf is not well. well. So I'm not sure if I should pull that leaf off or if I should leave it alone. Leave it alone. I'm not really sure. Don't pull it off. Don't pull it off, Mom. It does not look healthy, though. Don't pull it off. I will pull it out, just like you would do yeah. with a regular plant. Don't pull it out. I'm just going to cut it off with my thumbnail and remove it. So then we've got the plant right back to the way that it was without that unhealthy leaf. And then I'll just plant it right back in there. Now some of the leaves or some of the roots have grown out of the bottom of the basket. My plan for this is to wait until we move. When we get our fish tank situated at our new house, I'll actually take this black basket off because then I'll know that my plant is going to stay in that spot. For now though, I want to leave it like this so that I can transport it just a little bit easier when we move. Okay, back in the tank you go, little guy. Right back in. There you are, little friend. And hopefully, uh, it makes him a little healthier. I also want to take this guy out and make sure and clean him because he's not very clean. And he sort of dirties up my tank pretty quickly. So I'm just going to bring him over here too, give him a good wash. Yeah, he's gross. He likes to. I don't know if it's good for the water to have this in the fish tank because he can attract some of this yuck on him or if he's the reason that this yuck exists, but I sure don't like the way it looks. It's ugly and it gets all this scummy stuff in here. Mama, I feel that leaf. And now, instead of just being some yellow spots in here that were here before, now we're getting some black spots too, which we did not have before, so I don't know what's going on with this guy either. I don't know what would cause these black spots, or the yellow spots, but at least the yellow spots have been there a while. Now there's black spots too, and I don't know what that is. It's water. They seem to be stuck on there. Yeah. And it doesn't come off. I can run my thumb over it and it just feels like it's stuck. Oh, it did come off that time. So they do come off, they're just pretty stuck. Oh, it's under my fingernail, gross. So I don't know what that is. Dab it in the water. But that's as clean as I'm gonna get that guy for now. So I'll put his wig back on. Shake some of the water off and get him put back. Now oh, I've got a snail in his home, so. Excuse me, snail. There. You won't even notice, right? <laughs> okay, now I always use my water conditioner because I do use tap water for my fish tank. So I use my bowl buddy and I toss this in here right where the water flows Bloop. before I add my new tap water. And now it's time to get new water. Okay, now I always, always, always check the temperature of my water before I put it in there. I'm a pretty good judge of how warm that is, so it does feel pretty close to me. And I'm just going to go ahead and add the new water. Waterfall. <laughs> the water splashed on me, Mom. You did, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Crystal. They're trying to get in the waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> they like to play in the waterfall. <laughs> Crystal's like, yeah! Uh -huh. Let it be light. Ta-da! Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my Easy Balance. That's my plant nutrients, pH fixer stuff, and it adds vitamins for my fish. Uh, so all I do is open this up, fill it up to the line on the cap, and then I just add it right to the water. Yeah, yeah that looks great. You know, the fish and the plants love it.
Okay, so I was just about done, but I noticed these big hills in here where the rocks kind of got these big craters in them. Now, if I leave those there, my snails will try to climb down into those little crevices and they will roll down the hill and get stuck on their backs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reach my fish net in here and fix the gravel for them so that it's safe. Excuse me. Just trying to fix your house for you. That way we don't have any snail mishaps. We don't want anybody getting hurt in there. So the fish tank is taken care of once again. So Batman Fish and Crystal Jewel are doing great. Sheldon and Michelle are doing great. And now our plant does not have a dead leaf. It was dead? Yes. We pulled the bad leaf off. We fixed it. We gave the plant some vitamins. And now everybody should be a-okay. Vitamin K. And if anybody knows why our plant was not doing well, Jundas. Jundas. Put it in the comments. Please put it in the comments. Jundas. Not Jundas. <laughs> you weirdos. And if you like Jundas, thumbs up. If you want to make this jam strong, share it with your friends. And now, good night, YouTube. See you tomorrow. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. And if you're new here, welcome to our little piece of crazy. You're fishy.